OpenAI just dropped something massive. Free and open source models that you can run locally on your own laptop. Yep, no internet needed, no monthly subscription, and no sending your data off to the cloud. So if you're going to prompt something sexy, it's going to be safe. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking about GPT OS S20B and its big brother 120B. And today, I will show you how to install this model step by step using Olama so you can have your own chat GPT style assistant running offline for free. That's what I'm talking about. Now for individuals like you and me, the GPT OS S20B is the sweet spot. It even matched and outperformed O3 Mini on the evaluations such as coding and most importantly, mathematics and health. And if you're a business, the 120B version is designed for big data centers, meaning companies like you, like what you're doing right now, can run advanced AI completely on your own server while keeping all your customers' data private. Here's the best part. Like I said, it is freely licensed, even for commercial use. But in this video, we're focusing on the 20B model. So let's get you up and running in just a few minutes. So the first thing that we're going to do is download the Olama app. So head over to olama.com. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. Now the question is, what is Olama? To put it simply, it's basically a super simple app that lets you run AI models locally on your machine, totally free. And Olama partnered with OpenAI. So as, you, as soon as you open this app, it's going to be using the GPT OS S20B model by default. And as soon as you type something in this prompt box, for example, what is the best way to start learning um, programming? And then you send it. This will start downloading the model. Now in the previous video, I have used LM Studio and in that tool, you would have to search through the models and you have more options to choose from. But here in Olama, it appears to be only showing GPT OSS models, DeepSeq models, Gemma models, and Quen models. However, you can actually create your own model, your own custom model pretty easily. So if you're interested to see that, let me know in the comments below. Now the download is complete and here is the response. And if you noticed earlier, the response was very slow. Not because the model is bad, but it's because my laptop is very slow. And honestly, I'm surprised I was able to use 20B because I'm not only using Olama, I'm also using Chrome, which takes so much RAM, if you don't know. And I'm also recording my screen in 4K. So I'm surprised it worked out at the end. So yes, performance depends heavily on your hardware, especially if you want to use this offline. Now there's actually this turbo option that you can enable, but you'd have to be connected to the internet and you have to be signed in to your Olama account. I don't know, I feel like it defeats the whole purpose of locally running your models if you are still connected to the internet. I've tried it and I turned off my internet connection and it looks like it's sending your prompt to Olama's API. So if you're prompting something sensitive, uh, turning this on might not be the best option. Now, speaking of keeping your data safe, you can actually turn on airplane mode to keep your data local, but it will disable turbo mode and web search, which makes sense. So if you wanna make sure that your data is safe, turning this on is the best option. So that's how easy it is to install and start using GPT OS S20B. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to Weekly Health for more AI tutorials. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.